And for our next presentation, I'm happy to introduce Akkakot and CEO Jonas Jönmark. Welcome, Jonas. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me. I'm Jonas Jönmark, CEO of Akkakot. I'm here today to present to you uh, the business case of Akkakot and also the investment case around our product, Sekmelit. Sekmelit is a product uh, which targets a large unmet medical need with the patients suffering from uh, severe or acute allergy. The treatment available for those patients today are, has been around since uh, the 1980s, and that's corticosteroid tablets that need to be taken out of the blister pack, crushed, and then dissolved in water, which is quite time-consuming for the patient and the patient has at the same time an ongoing acute allergic reaction with the stress and everything. It takes time, but our solution is Sekmelit, which is an oral film, which gives the patient a very short time to treatment. And time is very important uh, when it comes to treating this kind of uh, illnesses. The product Sekmelit, it's a oral film, the size of a business card. Fits in your mobile phone or your wallet or whatever. Thin like this, opens very easily. And on the inside, you find a small oral film, which is placed on the tongue and dissolved in 10 to 15 seconds. The active ingredient is dexamethasone, which is a well-known, well-used glucocosteroid. The areas of use or the indications of this product is, of course, acute and severe allergic reactions, but also Krupp in children, CINV, which is nausea uh, when being treated with chemotherapy, and also COVID-19. We have market approval for this product in uh, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, and also Norway. So we have covered the four largest Nordic countries. And we are preparing another application for the US and also for the rest, rest of Europe. There is a large market potential for this product. If you look at the total allergy market, uh, you can look at it as a, as a pyramid with the, the base of the pyramid is the light to moderate patients. Patients like me who has uh, a pollen allergy. I buy my antihistamines over the counter at the pharmacy. But then you have also the moderate to severe allergic patients who needs their steroids for to treat their acute allergy. And that is a very large portion of this pyramid. The market size is more than 3 billion euros a year in this segment. And we have like somewhere between 25 million to 30 million diagnoses a year. That's the main target for this product. We have the top of the pyramid with the, the patients who are treated with adrenaline, but they should also be treated with a steroid. But the, the main target is the mid size of the, the pyramid. We were talking about the large unmet need, and we have, of course, done surveys with patients and doctors. We have done uh, one of the largest patient surveys uh, when it comes to allergy treatment in Northern Europe, uh, where we found that uh, more than 70% of the patient would prefer an oral film uh, to tablet treatment due to the large unmet need by the patients. 24% of the patients had experienced difficulties swallowing uh, when they had their severe allergic reaction, which means they can't access their medication, which is a big problem, uh, which could be solved with an oral film. More than 40% of the patients had sometimes feared for their lives when they had their severe allergic reaction, which is something that indicates the severity of this for the patient. Almost 70% of the patient had to seek emergency medical care to treat their 
allergy, allergic reaction, which is also very trauma traumatizing for the patient, but also adds a huge cost for the society. Looking at the doctors, nine out of 10 doctors would prescribe the product if it were available on the market today, which is a strong indicator of what the doctors think about the medical need of this product. More than 80% of the doctors would prescribe Secmelit to more than half of their uh, allergic patients, which is also a strong indicator on the large unmet medical need for this product. Moving on to the patent and trademark protection of the product, we have granted patents in more than 30 countries, including Europe, US, China, Japan, and we have a patent protection until 2035. And we have two patents, and one patent for the technology itself, but also the production process. So we're covered from two sides, you can say. Where are the company at this point with the product? We are now in the beginning of commercialization and we are moving forward with our strategy. We have the first commercial agreement signed. We have the focus on the Nordic region. Like I said earlier, we have uh, approved, we are approved in Sweden, Norway, Denmark and Finland. We are seeking additional approvals like US, uh, the other European countries and some selected markets outside of this geography. We are moving forward with distributors and uh, licensees. We are commercializing this through partners, uh, local partners in different parts of the world. And of course, a production, very important. We have secured uh, volume production for the product going forward. To sum it up, uh, as an investment case, we have an innovative product which may, will make a huge difference for the patients with severe allergy or acute allergy. And also, as I demonstrated, there is a huge unmet medical need for this product. There's, it's a large market. It's a huge potential in the market for this kind of product. There's a low development risk. The product is fully developed. It's has already gone through four approval processes. The Swedish MPA, the MPA in Denmark, Norway and Finland has put their seal of approval on this product. And of course also the team behind the launching of the product. We have a very experienced management team and a very experienced board behind this in the company. If you're interested in knowing more about the company and the plans going forward, please visit our webpage, akkocourt.com. Follow us on social media like LinkedIn or our YouTube channels where we have presentations, etc. So with this presentation, I would like to thank you everybody for your kind attention and interest in the Akkocourt business case. Jonas, you talked about applications here and you've got further applications ongoing. What would you say affects the timelines of these the most? Because, of course, everyone wants to know when the applications will be approved. The biggest factor in um, the uh, timelines is really the, the authorities. Like, this is a very good example looking at the US and the FDA. They ask us a question. We are answers in like two or three days then they have 90 days to reply. And usually we get the reply day 89. And then they ask another question and then it goes on. So that's, we are on the, in the mercy of um, the authorities when it comes to the timelines, when it comes to registrations, approvals, um, those kind of things. And this is not unique for Accucourt. This is for all biotech companies. It's a process that you can't control really. No, you can't control it. Uh, you can always ask to speed up, but they don't. The authorities doesn't always listen to those. They have their own timelines and tasks to do. So as a final question then, what triggers do you have upcoming? As an investor, I would look for more commercial contracts, looking at what's happening in the Nordics. 
uh, additional registrations, uh, other commercial indicators like uh, trademark protection. Um, uh, I would also look for things like publications of the patient surveys, etc. because we have a lot of things coming up. We will look for all of those things then. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me.